Hi guys, welcome back to EmpowerN and welcome back to another video on our ICU series. So this video is kind of piggybacking off the last video that I did. In this video, we're going to learn how to draw blood from an arterial line. If you have not seen it already, please click the link below where you can see my video on how to set up for and monitor an arterial line. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, my preferred way to draw blood is with a vamp but I'm going to also show you in this video how to draw blood from an arterial line if you do not have a vamp. So let's get started. Preparation with everything in nursing is key. So you want to make sure you have all of the supplies you need handy and opened, ready to go. This first method, we're going to learn how to draw blood from an arterial line without a vamp. So what you're going to need is alcohol swabs, syringes, I usually use 10cc syringes, but you can use smaller syringes like 5cc or 3cc as well. And you need your lab tubes. You can also use an adapter, but in this video I don't use an adapter, instead I just use another 10cc syringe. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to clean the area where you're going to draw the blood. The easiest place to draw the blood is going to be using the stopcock that is the closest to the patient. You want to clean it really good. And then you're going to take a 10cc syringe and then move the stopcock away from the patient. Then go ahead and draw back and you should easily get blood. You need to draw up a good amount of blood because you want your specimen to be accurate. Keep in mind the first three to five milliliters is just saline. Next, we're going to turn the stopcock back to the middle and we're going to remove our waste sample. Now you're going to use another syringe or you could use the sample adapter, but I'm just using another syringe and you're going to move the stopcock again away from the patient and you're going to draw up your specimen. Move it back to the middle, take the specimen off, and now we're going to flush. Flushing, we're going to pull the blue rubbery port on the arterial line. Now do you see how there's a little bit of blood left there? You don't want to leave that because that can clot. So we're going to move the stopcock towards the patient and we're going to give that blue little lever a very small flush. And now we're going to move the stopcock back to the middle. And we're going to put a clean cover. All right, now we're going to draw blood my favorite way, which is using a vamp. So the supplies that we need is the vamp, which should already be connected, or we will connect it and use it. You need alcohol pads, you need your lab tubes, and you need the sample adapter, and you need the vamp needleless shielded cannula. So for this, we're going to pull on the vamp and draw up saline and blood into the collection chamber so that at the port where we're going to be collecting the specimen, there will only be fresh blood. Then you want to turn the stopcock that's next to the vamp so that it closes off access to the collection chamber. This is what I love about the vamp. There's no waste. You're going to deliver all the blood back to the patient. Then you're going to clean the collection port with alcohol. Next, you're going to take your sample adapter and connect it to the vamp needleless shielded cannula. You need to actually connect this very tightly and then connect it to the collection port and hold it very tightly from the base. Then you're going to take your lab tube and go ahead and collect your specimen. Continue to hold at the base. When you remove it, make sure you hold the very base, which is the needleless shielded cannula, and pull it from the bottom. Then move the stopcock to unlock the vamp. And you want to flush the tubing. Make sure all the tubing is clear of blood. And that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more ICU content videos, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications. I will see you in the next video. Bye.